Hey, Paul here. I'm in the woods of Northern Virginia. It's been raining for probably five or six days, almost straight. And uh, everything here is uh, just really damp. So I wanted to come out here and see if I could get a twig uh, bundle fire going. So what I have here is I've got a little platform that uh, I'm going to put the twig bundle on. The twig bundle is right over here. I've got it tied up with some jute twine. Now, I do not have enough for another go because, frankly, I don't feel like harvesting uh, that much, that many twigs. So, um, there you go. This is just practice for me. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, flint and steel. I'm going to try the emberlet dragon again, uh, sometimes not getting great sparks off of it, but we've talked about that in the uh, forum. And let's see if I can get a good view of what I'm doing here. Hopefully, hopefully you guys can see that. All right. Let's go this one here. Now I got some sizal inside my jute bundle. Now I made a little cavity on the inside here to uh, put the jupe, or put the uh, tender bundle in. There we go. Let's turn this sucker around here. There we go. Put that inside. Let's see how that goes. Now remember, um, it's been raining for about six days. So I'm really curious as to how well I harvested these, uh, these twigs. And I don't know. Doesn't look <laughs> come on. All right, we got some leaves burning off of the twig. You know, in hindsight, I probably could have used some feather sticks in there. Or a bigger tender bundle. That probably would have done the trick. Let's see if that does something here. All right, so looking at it, this is not as dense as it probably should be. Okay, so you can see inside. Um, yeah, you know what? This is an epic fail. Everybody died. They all froze to death. So next time, I gotta do a better job. And let's hope this one doesn't go viral. Anyway, um, let me try something else and see if we can get this baby going. Alright, I'll do another video pretty soon here.